Thoughts to with Valerie, and it is uh, Wednesday, May 20th, and this is my channel about stitching and quilting and anything creative that I feel like doing, <laughs> so welcome. Thank you so much to all the people who've left comments. I have not really had a chance to read them this week. Um, we were able to get out to the plant place that I wanted to go to when the weather was still warm, and I bought a lot of flowers and I was planting them all week. Um, and my husband and I are excited to have some little raised beds this season. Our, fr our friend and neighbor made them for us. And I'm going to put a picture in because they're cute. They have little lids that fold on the hinge and have chicken wire. So we hope we'll be able to keep the critters out and actually get some vegetables this year. So we have been doing that flat out all week. We also had more bee adventures. My husband had two swarm, two hives, and between the two hives, they swarmed three times. Well, he managed to catch two of the swarms, give one to our neighbor, the, the friend that we kind of do the hobby with, and keep one for ourselves. So we now have three beehives. So we're hoping to get quite a nice blend of honey the end of the season, because she lives a little bit away, and so her three hives will blend the honey with our three hives and hopefully they will have gathered different nectar from different plants and it, it's, we've done this for two years and it, it makes a delicious honey so excited about that so the long and short of it is that I really have not read your comments and I apologize um, I really do read them all and I'll put a little heart when I read it um, so thank you and I am saving them I'm going to go this evening and read them all um, I had some stitchy kindness. Ah, you know, last week I talked about a nice handwritten card I had received from a woman in Pittsburgh who had actually won a giveaway. And I don't have it here to show again. I don't know where I put it. I kept pulling it out to show my family, like, look at this nice card I got. And I think I've tucked it inside a book I was reading or something. So I've got to find that. I apologize. In it, she asked a question, where in England was my husband from? Well, my husband actually is from... Kenya in Africa. His father was from Essex. I think it was called Brentwood. I know the name of his street was Honeypot Lane, which I've always loved. Um, so they were just outside London, sort of north of London somewhere, I guess, wherever Essex is. And that's, um, you know, we joke about my last name being of Danish origin. It's Blacksall, and it has an X in it, which is usually a sign of a Scandinavian name. But also that part of England was settled by the Danes and there are marshes there that prevent them from crossing into the main part of England. And so they, uh, I think I've talked about this before, but they had their own system of government. They were free farmers. They were never in the serf system. They were never in the feudal system. They were free men. And uh, Blacksall is actually in the Doomsday Book. It was changed at some point to Black's Hall, but you can go to the little village of Black's Hall, um, but it was originally Black's Hall. And um, so he really comes by way of England, but he grew up in Africa. And so um, that's the answer to your question. Um, I also received this beautiful postcard. Now, I think this was mailed, yes, this is another friend in Pittsburgh. Um, but it is of Galway in Ireland, and I would love to go there sometime. I've heard it is absolutely fantastic. And all the time I spent in Scotland, I never made it Ireland, so I need to do that. So that's on my bucket list. And then I had this beautiful card from a friend from Fayetteville. She said I didn't need to say her name, but inside she put some lovely goodies. Look how cute this is. They match the card. Isn't that fun? <laughs> and I keep a journal... It's like a calendar, but it, I write stuff in it, and I love to have stickers and things to put on, so I would be very happy to use those. And these flosses are yummy, luscious, tropical, make me long for summer. So it's funny because the weather has now turned cold again, having planted all those plants. And darn those squirrels, they keep digging in the new plantings to bury their nuts. Not in the veggies because we have those caged, but in all my flower pots, they, you know, the. I find the flowers down on the ground and a big clump of dirt, and I know Mr. Squirrel has been in there. 
there are legions of squirrels around here, hundreds of them. So it's not a matter of just chasing one off. It's, I am inundated. So it's just going to be an ongoing battle all summer, I think. But that will keep me amused, I guess. Um, I can show you what I've been working on. I've been really sporadic. I have not followed my rotation in any fashion. I just pick up whatever bag happens to be sitting near my chair or whatever I feel like working on. So I have made more progress on some than others. Um, the first one I'll show you is um, I'm on to UVW for the Little House Needleworks ABC samplers using the Bush, is it Bush Mountain? No. Whose conversion am I using? Why do I have trouble with this? They're out in Utah. Um, what does it say on here? Shepherd's Bush. Bush Mountain is where we get some bee supplies. That's why that's on my brain. All right, so I finished um, RST and I'm on to UVW. So I'll show you RST. There it is, and I have the teeny weeniest little start on UVW right next to it. And here is the whole thing. I don't know if I can get away with holding this without something behind it. I think I can, the way the light's coming in. So I'm getting there. I got two more houses to go. Love this one. And I did not work at all on my schoolhouse lesson. I'm supposed to be working on this one and I've only just got her little dress started and I haven't progressed at all on that. So here she is. That's as much as I got done last time. Um, so I haven't progressed on that. Okay, next one I was working on was the Scarlet House American Farmhouse and I was talking to you about my choices here. Um, I had two ideas. I was either going to do this like red, white, and blue colors instead of the gray and black and tan of the quilts, or, and then I thought I could make these like um, Amish quilts with black and magenta and sort of purple colored. But then I thought, yeah, the flag's there, and there's this seems like blue, even though it's gray. Can't really see that. So I'm going to blue it up, I think. That is what I'm going to do. I had a little bit of a setback on this because I was stitching away and realized I had done something wrong in the house and the way I had placed my stitches required me to tear out a lot, not just the row that I needed to fix. So that was a little disheartening. But here's my progress on that. House is coming along. I fixed the letter so I now goes FG. So that's good. I guess I should hold it right side up. That's American Farmhouse. Then, hmm, where does that go? Oh, I worked on my fat quarter shop things. I think I showed you this last time. I'm not sure. This is the stitch along that raises money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So here's where I am on that. I think this is the new one I added. This is 40 count dapple. Picture this plus. I'm saving the rest of this. I'm going to use it for that new Annie B's pattern. Love. I don't remember what it said, love always or something. And there were two pinky houses. I thought that'd be pretty on this dapple. It's kind of a blue, bluey gray. Um, and then the other one is the um, Feels Like Home stitch along they're doing. A Laurie Holt pattern. And I'm doing this on Laurie Holt 25 count Lugana even weave in the color cloud with the cauliflower colors over one. And I did home and then I had a hesitation because it's supposed to say feels like home. And I thought, hmm, do I wanna maybe do this as a commemorative piece for this COVID-19? So I put it out on Instagram and I got a lot of good suggestions. People were saying you could say home sweet home or let's stay home or a heart and my home or you know, I had a lot of good ideas. One woman was funny. She said, are you sure you really want to commemorate this time? <laughs> so I, that's still um, I'm in the jury's out. I'm still I deciding. put in about two more stitches in Kathy Barrick's uh, Bird's Eye View. 
all I did was start the little house over here. So that's hardly worth showing you. I can't remember if I worked on Lady Martha Washington, but here's my progress. Here's where I am. I think this is where I was last time, truthfully. I don't think I put any more stitches in her. I shouldn't even have shown her to you. Didn't touch George. Uh, and the last one, which I did work on quite a bit, was... Um, oops. Sorry. Zippy sound. Um, Quaker sewing tray. Brenda Gervais. And here's where I am. Oh, I'm so sorry. These are so wrinkled. I really have just been stuffing them in my bags. Been staying up fairly late, I think, later than I normally do, and so then I'm just tired and I just stuff them in. But you can see I've been working that hard. So I need to finish this because I love this and as I said I have the tray. Oh I want to show you my nails. I found out that my cousin's granddaughter is um, a Color Street rep and so she sent me some samples to try and I shared them with my daughter and I'm really excited. My hands look horrible because I've been gardening all week but I am really excited by these because um, I can do one hand of my, I can do my left hand pretty well. My right hand never turns out so well. And I think with these Color Street, um, they're like stickers you put on your nail, but it's real nail polish. And they, I've had these on for four days and I've been gardening and there's not a, not a problem. I mean, not a scratch, not a, the only thing wrong with my hands are my beat up cuticles and my wrinkly old, you know, swollen knuckles and um, so I'm really pleased with those. I'm going to be a new uh, supporter of her. If you guys are interested, her name is Kaylin Thurman. K-A-Y-L-Y-N-T-H-U-R-M-A-N. Wait. Yes. T-H-U-R-M-A-N. Kaylin Thurman. <laughs> and um, she is in Georgia, but she would ship anywhere. So if you don't have a Color Street rep and you're interested, as time goes on, I'll show you more and more. Because I'm, I'm, I, these were just samples that she sent. I like them, and so I ordered a bunch for my daughter and me to play with. And so when they get here, I'll, I'll put them on and play and see what we think. But I'm very pleased so far. Okay. Uh, showed you that one. I showed you that one. Um, I had a very nice surprise. Fat Quarter Shop sent me some things. What's new at Fat Quarter Shop? And they're all things I love. In fact, things they might be even be some things that I had ordered myself or thought about ordering. So if that's the case, I will um, I'll use some as giveaways. But the first thing in the box were these cute library cards. Now these I had looked at and I thought, ooh, I want to get some of those because you know I am a library aficionado and um, I thought this was the cutest idea they're like little library cards that you can write all your stitchy information on and then if you have a framed piece you can glue that to the back or use them in scrapbooking or you know like farm girl makes those old journals and stuff they'd be perfect they're printed just like an old library card and it has the little uh, manila pocket to put it in or it's it's that darker cardboard to put it in I think those are adorable. Um, those are also, they're three by five cards. Um, so I'm very happy to get those. Next thing, um, this will make sense if you are a quilter. You, when you're doing your quilts, quite often you go through and do all the cutting and then you can sit down and sew, sew, sew. But you've got all these little pieces stacked up that this square goes with this part of the pattern, this goes. Well, these are little alphabet tabs that you can put on the piles of the cut pieces that you're going to assemble, and it keeps it all straight, what's what. And you can just put them on with one of those little wonder clips on your pile and keep them all together. I think they're fantastic. They've got numbers and letters, and I am definitely putting these to use. Can't wait. This a pattern I love and wanted to do, and I... I wonder if I bought it myself. I'm not sure. If I did, this will be a giveaway. But um, it's homegrown. It was in their Stitch Quarterly. It's a it's so Emma pattern. Um, I think it's Darling. I think Priscilla finished it. Um, I've seen people change the color or 
Kimberly was maybe talking about it on the Fat Quarter Shop floss tube, that somebody changed this to be a pink flower. So you could do any flower you want. It didn't look unnatural because there are pink daisies that look like that. But um, I guess this is a sunflower. I just thought that was so cute. And on that sort of farm board sh shiplap stuff, I just think that's darling. So I love that pattern. And then I saw Kimberly had done this one. You pick, I think it's four different colors. It's called Starlit Snowflake. And it's really pretty. And here it's done in pinks or blues or grays and black. I think that's stunning. So that's lovely. And then this was something I had had my eye on and I really wanted to um, get myself. And they sent it to me, so I'm thrilled. It's a very coriander Christmas. So it's the new book by um, Corey Yoder who's a quilt designer I really admire. And it's two patterns, two different Christmas quilt patterns, and I think it's lovely. I would love to make this. So I'm very excited about that. <clears throat> and the other one is really cute too. I'll just flash it at you so you can see that's what the other one looks like. But um, thank you, Fat Quarter Shop. I was thrilled. I think those are lovely gifts. And I have just found the card from Pittsburgh, so I must have had it here. Yeah, it was from Jackie in Pittsburgh. It's not a pretty card. And she wrote me a lovely note inside. So thank you, Jackie. That was so sweet of you. And I hope I answered your question. I, I'll have to check with my husband. I'm pretty sure it was Brentwood in England, but I definitely know it was Essex. So that is all my Stuff, except for one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, I'm a subscriber to uh, Kim Deal's Simple Whatnots. They're miniature quilts that they um, send you the whole pattern and all the fabric to do. And it's um, done through the Fat Quarter Shop. And here's the one I finished when we were in Ohio, but I needed to find some backing fabric and bind it. But I did it, so here it is, yay! So I found this fabric I had in my stash, which I thought looked really cute with it, and I just did a simple binding. So there we have it. And it's fully finished, my fully finished little mini quilt. <laughs> Yay! All right. Last week I had five giveaways because I had hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. So I pulled the winners using the random YouTube comment generator. And um, I will read them now. So number one, oh, I didn't bring them in here. Hang on. Okay, got them. All right, so the first one was Souvenirs of the Heart, uh, Home for Christmas, Brenda Gervais. And that winner was Sherry Murdoch. So Sherry, I will put my address, snail mail if you must, to get, get a hold of me. Or the better way would be to email me. I'll put that in the description box below. Or direct message me on Instagram. Uh, and I'll put that in the box below as well. So this is the first one. Souvenirs of the Heart, Home for Christmas, goes to Sherry Murdoch. The second one is Santa's Tree Farm. Again, Brenda Gervais with Anil and Thread. This goes to Lori Cornea. C-O-U-R-N-E-Y-A. Cornea. So Lori, same thing, get in touch with me. If I don't respond, get in touch with me again. In fact, I'm thinking um, Cheryl Mills won the key from the key pattern from Shakespeare's Peddler, and I have not even checked my email this week. So bad me, bad on me. If you've gotten in touch with me, Cheryl, I'll go look again. Or not again, since I haven't looked yet, but I'll go read my emails and see if you responded to me. If not, here's your second chance. Cheryl Mills won the keys. Um, Holiday Hoopla Christmas, again with I Needle and Thread, goes to Jean Gallagher. J-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, Jean Gallagher. And Merry Old Soul, Brenda Gervais again, goes to Sean Matthews. And the last one, Souvenirs of the Heart, Autumn and Amana, goes to YTS Mom. So congratulations, everybody. Now, shift these things over. Make room for Stash Basket. 
I thought I had shown these to you before, but I do not think I have. So we're going to go with it. Oops. Don't know what that was, but I'll get it later. Okay. This basket is miscellaneous, sewing quilting, sampler style, what I've called platitudes, you know, if it says something funny or silly, seasons, humor, and country. And in the front, I see I tuck stuff, which is what I do and why things get out of order. Sorry, my wind chimes behind me are dinging. Because um, these are newer patterns I've gotten that I haven't filed away. But anyway, the first one is hands-on design bloom chalk pull. I like this one a lot. My two favorites of these so far are the sunflowers and these daisies. I just think they look lovely. Um, I saw somebody, maybe it was on Fat Porter Shop, instead of doing the jar as red, they put a red ribbon here and done the jar in blue, which I might do. But I think that's very cute. Priscilla Blaine's design. Um, Woolly Estate, Teresa Kogut. Adorable. Love the sheep. Love the chicken sitting on the sheep. The Anniversary by Lila Studio. Really sweet. That has a real chocolate box feel to it. I think like a, what do they call The Whitman sampler sort of feel to it. All right, so in the beginning, what have we got? Pull out the first category. I have some Fragments in Time by Summer House Stitchworks, this series. This is 2019. I haven't decided if I'd want to do these all together or as little pillows. They have sort of an autumnal feel to them, even though they are, yeah, I don't think they have a theme. It's just Fragments in Time. Yeah, I'm not sure. Heart in Hand Tomato Tart. That I want to put with all my uh, little tomato pin cushions. Here's Lizzie Kate Flowers. This obviously is a kit because it has fabric and the pin, the uh, buttons in the back. But that's a sweet little pin keep. Ah. You know, I've been saying I had all the patterns, the Country Cottage Needleworks, and I knew I had August somewhere. Ding, 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 there it is. Yay. Heart and Hand Wee Stitching Bird. Told in a Garden. One of the very first cross stitches I ever completed was a Told in the Garden pattern. Um, you know, I'm very close to Lancaster here and all the Amish country, and so I love these patterns. There is um, back stitching on them. These are probably, does it have a date on it? I think these are 80s from the 80s and 90s probably. Um, anyway, first one I have is Farmer's Market. The, anyway, the first one I did was a house and barn with quilts hanging and I gave it to my mom and it's over at my sister's house. But I have these other ones. I never did for myself. Bird in hand. which is also a town. Um, I told you their funny joke, they have bird in hand and intercourse. <laughs> All right, here's Needle and Thread, uh, Brenda Gervais. It says, sew a, ne sew a needle pull, no, I'm not gonna sing it, sew a needle pulling thread. Mice in the Sewing Room, Brenda Gervais. Told in a Garden, uh, I don't know what this one is called, Amish Quilt Sampler, sorry. This is a Twisted Oaks Design Baltimore Quilt Album. So it's taken a motif from a Baltimore quilt and put it in cross stitch form. Here's another one. Um, I've had these a long time. I know these are quite old. Um, Sarah Germani, Stitching and Quilting Party. This would be an undertaking to do. 
I have those Christmas ones I'm still working on. Little House Needleworks uh, Quilt Time Sampler. I wouldn't finish mine in a clock, but I like it. It just says the different names of the types of quilts. A bear paw, churn dash, flying geese, log cabin, maple leaf, Ohio star, pinwheel, shoe fly, wedding ring. I don't know what the shoe fly pattern looks like. I'll have to look that one up. I know all the others. Ooh, this one has a little pin in it. I just realized a little button. Sarah Humani. That's fun. Home of a Needleworker. Little House Needleworks. I want to do all the ones like this. Let's say Stitcher, Needleworker, that kind of thing, and hang them in my sewing area. Here's a new acquisition. I think No, it isn't. This is an older one. The Stitching Life Heartstring Samplery. Beth Twist. I could use a little more stitching in my life, it says. <laughs> I think my husband would disagree with that, but. All right, that's the first category. And then we're moving on to, ooh, can't lift that up. These, I think, are the ones that are sampler-like. I think this is gonna be all I'm gonna do today because the pile is huge. <laughs> Chessie and Me, 1864 House Sampler. I've got to take one of my notes off. It's blocking my picture here. La Di Da Fractor Flowers. Tulip Heart Vase, Dames of the Needle. This is part of my Fractor collection, I do believe. Scarlet House on Stoneware Street. These have not been alphabetized, you might be able to tell. I somehow didn't get to this box. Shepherd Sampler with Thy Needle and Thread. I love the windmill. Button Button, Brenda Gervais again. Love this. Gotta find some nice old buttons like that to put on there. Berry Days at Thistledown Farm, Brenda Gervais. Sampler Hill, Brenda Gervais. You get the feeling I've put Brenda Gervais children through college. <laughs> Heart in hand, Brenda Gervais. This is an older one, I think. Be kind and be true, because I'm just looking at the picture. 2009 this one is, so yes, this is much older. Summer at Cherry Hill, Jen's, Jen Stitching Niche did this recently, I love it. Stacy Na Stacey Nash Primitive Seek Joy in All Things Pin Keep Pillow. Got that one a long time. And sampler pin keep. Get two patterns. Could put one on the front, one on the back if you wanted. Summer pomegranate needle book and pin keep. Stacy Nash. This is from last year. And here's what it looks like on the back. So pretty. I'm sorry if I'm rushing. It's just that this is such a huge pile. Um, Primrose Farm, Sewing Basket, and Heart Pin Keep. I just fell in love with the little horse in the house. That was so cute. And if you look on the other side, of course she's got a couple little dogs. Jenny Bean and Friends, Shakespeare's, and Com Shakespeare's Peddler. Um, Tell me, knowing and discerning few, where I may find a friend both firm and true. Did I say firm? Yes, firm and true. Love that. Quilts and Quakers by La Di Da. Scarlet House, a sampler rose. It says, stitch by stitch, row by row, X's make my sampler grow. Cute. Scarlet House, American Homestead Sewing Set. Okay. 
these are alphabetized. Maybe just the ones in the front I had tucked in there. Scarlet House again, a coverlet court. That goes with Sampler Street um, coverlet court. It's part of the series. I think there's... Um, what's the third one? I can't remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. This one is called Center Point Sampler. Scarlet House again. Julia Fletcher, 1847. Samplers. Oh, this is in the wrong category because um, this should be with my stitchy part. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I love the Scarlet House. Uh, hold on a sec. I've got to move my note because it's covering up the picture. I put little post-it notes in the front of floss I'm missing or the fabric I think I want to use on it. But I can't show you the picture with that on. Hold on. Okay. Scarlet House, Coverlet House. Coverlet Houses. Love how they do this with the three different colors, the monochromatic. Or you can do it without doing the color in the background. You can do it the reverse way. Isn't that cool? Heartstring Samplery, a weaver's shuttle. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. Yes, especially in these times of quarantine where you can't figure out what day you are in and the weeks just fly by. <laughs> Little House Needleworks, Farm Life. This was a recent one, I think. You cause the grass to grow for the livestock and plants for man to cultivate that he may, may bring forth food from the earth. That's a good summer, summer one. The Sampler Lady, Little House Needleworks, that's an old one. These are old too, I've been meaning to do these for years. Stonework, stoneware pin pillows, for some reason I have two and three and I don't have one. But those are really fun, I love stoneware pottery. Um, dry Colonial Goods, I think, I think Michelle Rudy Farm Girl has done this one and it looks gorgeous in her house. Little House Needleworks. Plum Street Samplers in Friendship. How much to be prized and esteemed is a friend on whom we may always with safety depend. That's nice. Be nice to stitch that one and give it to a friend. Oh, here's a blackbird that's not in its blackbird box. Beyond my heart. That's pretty. And you get a mystery bonus pattern. This is a loose feathers. I I need to come to some sort of understanding about how the patterns are categorized. Um, all the loose feather things confuse me. I know there were different series like the Beetle series and um, Anniversaries of the Heart and things like that. But the loose feathers, there seem to be different categories for them. I'm not sure. There's rewards of merit pin keeps, I think. Anyway, I'll have to do a little investigation. Here is Stacy Nash again, Butternut Tavern. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's Lila's studio. This is a new one, Janet Robertson. That would be so pretty in wools, wouldn't it? And Anna Oman, 1873. And Mary Barr's sampler, Stacy Nash. Gorgeous. Oh, here's one of the other ones that I was trying to think what they're called. On Redware Road, Scarlet House. Esther Edison, 1832, Chessie and Me. Stacy Nash Primitives, Old White Farmhouse Sampler. This one I just love. There's something sweet and simple about it. It's done on 30 count R&R mink. So it's a lovely sort of deep gray and has the two little dogs 
and the house and a little bird and flowers. I just love it. Two red houses, little house needleworks. I saw Jen stitching niche had done this one as a drum, which is a great idea. I think that would be really cute. Although I do love it, the two little red houses framed. Little summer, summer sampler, la di da. Soft, soft and pretty, just gentle, the sort of curling of the letters and the colors. It's just a very sweet, old fashioned feel to it. Little House Needleworks, the two white houses. You could do both. Of, I think Jen was talking about that, doing both of these as drums, which would be cute. New one, ding, ding, heartstring samplery, variable sampler. I've heard it's not so bad if you sew your pieces together ahead of time, and then all you have to stitch across it is this and this. Of course, I'd love the idea of like you stitch a half twice or you stitch a half and swap with a friend. You have to stitch the whole thing on two different pieces and then swap with a friend and you sew them together, I guess. Another new one, I have these red hydrangea pin disc, pink primrose pin disc, Here's the red hydrangea, like that on the back. Pink primrose, looks like that on the back. And berry basket, looks like that on the back. Another 2B, two, two, two for. It is the heartstring samplery sewn in friendship combo with the Plum Street samplers sewn in friendship. Super cute. Beth Twist and Paulette Stewart. I think they go like they go like that. See? I know you've seen these, they're so cute. And Hannah Jenkins and Sampler, Stacy Nash. Love the old, old feeling to this. That is done on Picture This Plus Ale with DMC. Interesting. Okay, Stacy Nash Stables at Hollyberry Farm. That's the new one. Love it. Love the horses. This looks like it's a tree house, isn't it? It's just the garden path going down the grass, going up to the house. But just for a second, it looked like this was up on some sort of a stand. Really. And Blue Flower Drum Kit and my drum obsession. This came as a kit. So got the wool, it's the finishing of the fabric, the floss. La di da. I think maybe I'll stop there before I get into the next round. Um, let me think about it. I'll see how much okay, time. I think I will do one more category, and it seems to be either humor or platitude. No, this is, uh, I called it platitudes. I don't know why. Oh, this is funny that this is in here. It's an old Debbie Mum kit. Look at that. Ah. In the days of the, this must be the 80s, I think. No, 1998. Interesting. It's got um, Ada and it's got the floss. It's cute. It's just these colors seem dated to me now. That's funny. Okay. Heartstring samplery coffee Quaker. First I drink the coffee, then I do the thing. I think I was going to make this as a present for my sister who is completely addicted to coffee. <laughs> Heartstring samplery prairie life sampler. This I was going to do for my daughter when she was big into... Um, Little House in the Prairie books. That phase has passed now, but it's still cute and timely. I mean, the real things haven't changed. It's still best to be honest and truthful, to be happy with simple pleasures and have courage when things go wrong. I think I'll do that for myself. Here's one fit ends. Oh, this was a gift from Jen Stitching Niche. I must have gotten this um, as a little freebie. 
Friends may forsake and riches fly, and life itself may end, but youth improved will, will well supply through life its closest friend. <laughs> Fun. Lizzie Kate, my to-do list for today. Count blessings, practice kindness, let go of what I can't control, listen to my heart, be productive, yet calm, just breathe. Another timely one. <laughs> I guess this is why I called these platitudes. Here's a kit from Shepherd's Bush to make a little scissor keep. It's, uh, like the shepherd his sheep, my scissors I'll keep. Put one on each side, I guess. And it's got the floss and the, it's even got scissors in there. What do you know? Huh. Better do it and put it on the scissors. Crumpets and tea from Brenda Gervais. A garden party or three. Twas me, myself, and I. I ate all the berries and cream. Myself ate all the crumpets. Twas also I who ate the pie and passed the tea to me. <laughs> this is like the motto of our house. We're all a little greedy at tea time. Teresa Kogut, Everyday Blessings. Classic Teresa Kogut. This does not have a date but I think it's an older one. This is all through the night. May I have small house and a large garden have. It's done on black, which is really cool. Weeks onyx, 30 count. I wonder what it'd be like to do on like a white or something, but I do like it on the black. It's quite dramatic. Country Cottage Needleworks. This is called Ladybugs and Bumblebees. The ladybugs and bumblebees do while away the hours by traveling through garden leaves and dancing in the flowers. That's an older one. That's 2005. <laughs> yeah. Little Abby Love. Mini Quaker Stitches, Jeanette Douglas. Thistle needle roll. Ooh, I must do this. This is by M Designs. Two thousand seventeen. I thought it was older than that. Isn't that pretty? I love thistles for Scotland. Use what talents you possess all through the night. It says, use what talents you possess. The woods would be silent if no birds sang there, except those that sang best. Like little birds singing. Uh, Laurie Holt, Eat, Sleep, Stitch, Repeat. This is another one to hang in my sewing area. I have the big sewing machine one somewhere. I think that's a big pattern, so that's in my pat big pattern box. Oh, here come the uh, hands-on design laundry, the never-ending cycle. Loads of fun. And irony, the opposite of wrinkly. <laughs> Self-service, it says loads of fun. Haha, -ha, loads, haha, -ha, fun. And laundry in the never-ending cycle, tee-hee. Um, I was going to do those and hang them in my laundry area. They're still in the package, of course. And for the final one of this... This area, this category... I have Lindy Stitches. Jane Austen is my home gal. I thought that was great. So there you have it. That's half of the box. We'll save the rest for the next time. And um, so that leaves seasons, humor, and country still. We'll see what we find. Um, I have a giveaway because I have duplicate patterns. When I started organizing my patterns to show you. I was putting all the prairie schoolers together and discovered I have some patterns, prairie schooler, that I have not one, not two, three. I must have bought them three times because I like them so much. Well, here's one that is um, a duplicate. Now, this is not the heavy cardstock. This is that lighter weight reprint. I'm assuming this is a legit copy. I don't know how to tell, but I bought it from, I hope, somebody legit. Anyway, it's Village Green by the Prairie Schooler. 
And I know it looks kind of autumnal, but the chickens are kind of springy, spring chickens. So let's see, for this one, you must be 18 or older. You, um, it'd be nice if you liked and subscribed to my channel and liked the video. Um, don't say giveaway, don't say prize, don't say award or anything like that because then people who are just looking, trolling around looking for contests will enter and get the pattern. That's no fun because then they will sell it. I want somebody who wants to stitch it to have it. So um, for this one, use the keyword village. That's not very imaginative, but um, there we have it. <laughs> if you would like this pattern, use the, the word village somehow in your comment and I will know that you would like to win it. And I will draw a winner next time, just like I do using the random YouTube comment generator. So I hope um, your days have some fun and, and excitement in them. Or, you know, even if it's just that you get to sit and stitch a little bit, I hope you're getting to do that. And I hope you're all staying well. And I wish you all good things. Till next time. Bye.